Hi, it's me again. I'm out here at our beautiful Sarasota Bay. This is right down the street from the Spirit University. You can easily walk to it. It'd probably take you all of about three or four minutes. Uh, we have some lovely uh, homes in the area, multi-million dollar homes, frankly. And, uh, and this is the same bay that I found this shell, this is a conch shell, I think they're called uh, fighting conchs, I'm not really sure. Found this one at Lido Beach, only about 15-20 uh, minutes from where I'm standing, where the Spirit University is. And of course, conch shells are known for being able to put them up to your ear and hear the sea. So I'm going to do that, and sure enough, I hear a just very very slightly but there are there's a plane way 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 off in the background there's a bird chirping or a pelican i don't know what i've got wind here so to be able to hear that in the seashell which is very soft but absolutely there i have to focus on it i have to focus on that very quiet still sound but it's still sound <laughs> no pun intended no uh, no synonym meaning there uh, but it's that way that we use our focus to gain intuitive insights it, or into the psychic realm and use that as a doorway to whatever we want to pursue, whether it's speaking to others in spirit, getting inspiration, just uh, making our lives a little bit easier and better. So I'm going to uh, leave this beautiful, beautiful Bay Area and uh, I'm not going to walk. I actually brought my car. I'm going to drive, but I'm going to drive the two minutes back to my center and uh, the center, I should say. It's all of our center and uh, show you something neat to do with seashells. Here we are back at the center and I say, let there be light. They're actually working on our lights all through the two-story building that our center is in. They are replacing the fluorescent lights, those old outdated fluorescent lights with more modern LED lights, which are a little bit healthier, a little bit closer to the sunshine uh, light, and it can be uh, important for some people. So they are slowly and methodically changing all the lights, and that's what's happening um, yesterday and today. And I wanted to, I, I've pulled this out of our um uh, storage. This is just a t-shirt from our old Sarasota Psychic Challenge we did uh, many, many years ago. It was kind of fun. On the front it says, Got Ghosts. Um, that doesn't have to do with anything specifically with what I'm going to show you, except that it's a black background. So I have here a bag of shells. And uh, believe it or not, this leads up to a funny story, but the actual technique of doing this is not funny. It can be very profound. Um, you know, I'm a psychic medium, a uh, um, real medium, where you speak with a two-way conversation with those on the other side of life. But we all have an innate psychic ability, whether we choose to do mediumship, we do tarot cards, or uh, use a tool. And these shells can be used as a tool for opening ourselves up to our own intuition. So these are all shells from the same beach I found that, by the way, I think I said whelk, it's actually a conch, finding, finding conch that I was listening to uh, at the waterside. These were found at the same beach. And what I'm gonna do is just take a moment as I breathe in, I breathe in all the goodness uh, that's available to us in this universe and through my hands I breathe out that I just set the intention for my energy to go into these uh, to these shells you don't have to do that but that is something that I do to just sort of energize them and then amazingly what do I do I jump them out onto the dark background. Is there something magical with this? Well, yes and no. If we talk about physical mediumship, things can happen, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about accessing our um, innate intuition today. So the first thing you do is take a look at how these uh, have 
landed the pattern in them and we are just like we listened to that conch shell and we had to let go of thinking about the seagulls and, and pelicans we had to let go of thinking about the noise of the wind or anything else happening and by the way once i got done filming there was a lovely dolphin outside there but i wasn't quick enough to get my camera um, just like that we had to let go of those sounds and focus on that still quiet rush of from that um, conch, it's where we put our focus. So we do the same things when we're access, trying to access our psychic ability, our e extrasensory perception, ESP, or um, our intuition as we let go of the outer world to some degree and just focus on what we um, have in front of here to use it as a doorway to move the obstacles and uh, um, connect with that. So you can put your hand over these. I feel it's amazing. There's sort of a, as I just put my hand over it, it's cold over here and warm over here. That is not a scientific hot cold. I mean, uh, I think the air conditioner's on, but it really can be interesting. I've proven this in um, classes and other, I won't get into that, but uh, it can be quite a phenomenon. Um, I notice that this particular shell has a, an olive shell with a baby's foot shell or jingle shell in it with a hole in it. You know, as you look at that, you can just think to yourself, does that have meaning? I was drawn to this. And so I take a deep breath in, I exhale, and I just focus on that shell and see what message comes through to me. Um, you can also look at the pattern of the shells. It's interesting that um, there are cat's feet shells in here, but I don't see any. And there, there's no cats in the building right now, but I think in one of my videos there was a cat There's and there's no cat here. Don't know if that has meaning. We have the um, cat's eye uh, shells. We have both shells. I just, you can take just a moment to take a breath in, exhale, and with your eyes open, take a look in the pattern of these shells and just see if any thoughts, feelings, or even pictures pop out at you from the way they're laid out or just the general design of them. So there's a funny story I'd like to relate. Um, it's not to do with shells. It's to do with um, a psychic who was a very good psychic. He was a psychic. He was a medium, very renowned at the time. This was uh, quite, a, quite a few, many decades ago. And he went out of town to a psychic fair and no one knew of him. He was an unknown. They did not recognize his name. So it was a two day psychic fair. And the first day he just sat there twiddling his thumbs, do, 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 do. people would pass him by and not get readings with him because there were so many psychics at that um, psychic fair. And he left there thinking, well, I have to do something to stand out, to become um, unique for people uh, to have them notice me so that I can bring my gift to them. And it is a gift that you give when you uh, bring a, a reliable, evidential message to someone. And so he went by Kentucky Fried Chicken and had a lovely big meal, his big, big gentleman, I say that respectfully, lovely big meal of um, chicken and came home, ate it down to the bones and boiled the bones and laid them out to dry overnight. And the next morning he took a little basket and threw all the bones in it and took it that with him to the psychic fair. And um, he would do just like what we did with these. He would use his bones and he would throw them. Oh, there's a little uh, cat thing hidden, the hidden cat. Anyway, he would throw the bones down when he was giving a reading and he would use them as a focus tool. Um, it is a type of scrying. We're going to talk about that another time um, to open himself up to the message he was trying to bring 
for the people uh, that were his clients. So he would do that. He would start with the patterns. He would start with the opening of the door and then he would move on to the full message. And he was packed that day as he took uh, the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bones. I don't think he said where they were from, but all day long he threw the bones and people thought, ooh, how, what amazing thing. And all it was was a way, one of many, many tools to open the door to an innate ability and uh, an existing ability that we all have, which is our intuitive nature, our sixth sense. So um, I'm not saying go out and get Kentucky Fried Chicken, or at least if you do get the grilled one without the bones, but uh, you can use anything. Some people use stone and acorns. We've actually done that and seashells uh, for this. And um, I, <laughs> I tried to duplicate the bone throwing that he did maybe a decade ago and I hadn't known at the time you need to boil those bones and let them dry out and I put them in a closed baggie and a week later all my students opened the bags up and woo we won't do that again but um anyway uh take take a moment to find something that has meaning to you and use that as just one way of opening of releasing your monkey mind your ego letting that go and use that to focus on receiving a message or getting information from from your soul um and very interestingly i chose this i didn't know i was going to do this video today for some reason i chose a fish as my little ne necklace so um coincidence I'll let you decide. Until we meet again, happy sailing.